Today we have the Ajaz K685T Bluetooth dual mode mechanical keyboard with red switches. And this has been my daily driver for a couple of days now um, with my Mac. And you can see here, I have a array of uh, keyboards from Ajaz. So this one here, for example, this is the K870, and for a long time, one of my favorite keyboards. So we'll take a look at this one. This one has brown switches. This one is the Ajaz K680, and this is also a wireless keyboard um, with blue switches, okay? And for comparison, we have the Skyloon SK61 here, which is also a red switch keyboard but you can see the layout is a little bit different because number one, it doesn't have a dedicated up arrow key here. And of course it doesn't have this uh, column of navigation keys here. So what I found in practice is that this is a really compact keyboard, but very hard to use for daily typing. Um, this is a Skyloon SK61 um, because this up arrow key and the slash and question mark key are combined. So you have to use FN to get this functionality. Um, so this one is a little bit harder to use. And quite honestly, you know, your the difference is only this one column here, okay? Now, compared to these other Ajaz keyboards here, for example, um, what you'll see is obviously this is a very compact keyboard. So you really get pretty much the same keys here, right? Because you have the insert page up, page down, delete, the same keys here, and the same dedicated arrow keys, but in a much more compact size, right? And compared to the K870, this is a really great keyboard. I really love this keyboard, um, primarily because it's got everything, right? You have everything, you have all of your navigation keys, you have this uh, scroll wheel for the volume. So this is also a really great keyboard. But what I really like about this keyboard is that it's just really complex, you know, really, really compact and the markings on it make it really easy to use, to be honest. Um, and you can see here, I have all of the lighting effects turned off, um, but you can turn it on just by hitting FN and then select the various lighting effects that you want to use. There's tons of lighting effects to choose from. And if you go into the application, you can customize it even more. Now, one thing I will say is that the application itself um, only runs on Windows. So if you're using this on a Mac, you have to go find a Windows machine and uh, reprogram your keys. And we'll talk about why you would want to reprogram your keys in the first place um, when using this keyboard, okay? So construction-wise, it's really nice. It's relatively light, you know, even though it has a battery, the battery has been fantastic. I haven't had to charge it yet, uh, but I also use it primarily with the lighting effects off. Um, one note here, is that this USB-C port here is quite tight. So not all USB-C uh, cables will fit into this port. So you have to um, use the cable it's supplied with or find one that, that's going to fit into this plastic housing over here, okay? Uh, other than that, from a usage perspective, you know, there's only a couple things that, um, you know, you don't have to really think about. Number one is that the here on the right hand side you can see there's a home and a delete key so what would make a lot more sense is if this was the end key instead of the delete key because this is by default the home key right so what that means practically is that when you are using this keyboard you know you really want to end up reprogramming this key so that the default is end because this key's default is home uh, or reverse it, right? Depending on which you use more often. For me, it makes a lot more sense for this key to be, to be end rather than delete. So I had to reprogram this key, okay? Now, aside from that, there's some additional functionality which is really great about this keyboard. Um, one is obviously it's Bluetooth capable, but if you don't want to use the Bluetooth, you can also use the RF receiver um, and connect that as well. But you also have the option, if you're using Bluetooth, switching between three different devices, which I think is really great because number one, it's compact, 
But if you have multiple computers, a Mac and a PC, you know, or a gaming PC all together, you can use, you just hit FN and then you can switch between uh, the different devices. And if you're using the, uh, the RF receiver, that's even better. You can have up to four devices that you're switching between with one keyboard, right? So this is really great. Um, overall, I think it's a really great keyboard. I've been using it as a daily driver and fantastic keyboard. I think it's really well balanced compared to this uh, K870T because the K870T number one is much heavier. Um, and then number two is it's much bigger, right? So let's do this. Let's give it a listen so you can see what it sounds like. Again, these are red switches. So relatively muted, um, good feedback. You know, it, you with the red switches, I, I find that I do bottom out a little bit more. Um, here, just to give you an idea, here's brown switch. Okay, so obviously, uh, definitely louder than the red switches, more clickety clack, right? And here is the Here's an AJAZ. Um, again, this is the K680T. Um, same wireless, wired, Bluetooth, and we'll give it a type, and these are blue switches, okay? Yeah, so you can see the, the blue switches are much more uh, higher pitched than the brown switches, and the brown switches are louder than the red switches, right? So depending on where you're, what kind of environment you're working in, um, you may or may not want these blue switches, right? So the red switches I think are um, a really good compromise and a little bit more feedback than yellow switches, for example, right? Overall, I think this is a really great keyboard, really balanced. I've been using it as a daily driver and probably will continue to do so. Um, generally speaking, I, these are the two that I go to, the K870. Uh, because it's just a really well-rounded keyboard, especially with this volume toggle here. That's the one thing I really miss on this keyboard. Um, but what I really like about this keyboard is the compact size, the ability to very quickly and easily switch between different devices, um, and the really easy to use ergonomics of this keyboard overall. Um, like I said, the only two minor things I would say is that this home and delete doesn't make any sense. It should be home and end or insert and delete by default. So this is a weird design decision here, and you'll need to download the software to reprogram um, how these two keys behave, okay? But otherwise, great keyboard for daily use, for gaming, whatever your case may be, very well-rounded keyboard.